I've been following Midnight, at least what I can, what does end up uh, public. I went through a bunch of the uh, tweets recently from from Midnight's Twitter account. And, you know, seeing you and your and your lectures and your and your YouTube speeches and things like that, you you obviously have a, a, a pretty anti globalist elite kind of mentality where you're you're all about decentralization you're against the centralized control efforts of a lot of the players that are just proving themselves to be bad apples and the like and there is a small part of me that wonders if it is that perception or that opinion of things that somehow rubs the more centralized uh control mongers the wrong way which kind of pushes cardano out of a lot of the key lists and metrics and things because they're people know cardano is more for the people and more for decentralization and less in favor of the vcs that are able to control and and kind of manipulate a particular asset and and it almost seems like there's a hustle going on there you have an anti-globalist stance on the world in favor of decentralization over centralized control and are quite open about it do you think that that is part of the reason why Cardano is so often excluded in various reports by the media, which always seems to be in favor of the more centralized and or venture capital funded projects? I think it's a blend of things. Um, one blend of things is that Cardano was founded in Japan. And uh, and that's so radically outside of the venture capital, Silicon Valley, milieu, and uh, New York circles and these things. And so it didn't have those initial founding connection points that were typically from Western media. So for a long time, it was just totally ignored because there was no connection point there. You know, another thing is our technology is radically different. It's not an EVM clone. It's not a Bitcoin clone. So you have to learn a new stack to play in that world. And for some people, uh, they just didn't want to take the time or effort to understand the competitive differences there. Third, it certainly is philosophical. If you are a proponent, of censoring speech, if you are a proponent of centralized control of your money, if you believe people are too stupid to run their own lives and you want a government to run everything from cradle to grave, or you're a globalist and you want no transparency because you want to run the world, uh, then something like Cardano is a very threatening thing because it's proving at scale every single thing you hate. It's showing people how to be their own bank, own their own identity, it's building a government. It has its own constitution. It has its own governance system. And it's able to become self-reinforcing and more decentralized and more capable over time. If you allow that to grow, it's a cancer in the globalist plans. You cannot have a world system where there's one world government and one world set of controls and ESG all the way down the pipe and, and all this stuff where a small committee on unelected people get to decide everything if you have like this freedom stack over there with a billion users. So when people really understand the philosophy of what we're trying to accomplish, it is a anti-pattern to what the globalists are trying to accomplish. The globalists own the media and they control a lot of the things. So of course, there's some friction there. We see that with legacy media, not traditionally trade media and crypto media. Crypto media is owned, bought, and controlled by the VC coins. That's just the fact. If you pay enough to play, they write nice things about you. If you don't pay, they don't. Amergo doesn't seem to pay, nor does the CF. We certainly don't. So nothing in the core entities is getting any love, and the community can make a decision if they want to play that game, uh, with the on-chain treasury. And if they do, suddenly we'll be on every index and right. suddenly everything will be great. And if we don't, we'll be left off. Now, the question is, is that credible? Do people particularly care? Just off of Twitter and social media, we've been able to grow to where we're at and where we've historically been. So maybe it's the case that we just enhance our ability to communicate through social media. And that's, that's all we need to do. Because I, frankly speaking, it's like, yeah, we could buy a coin desk or a coin telegraph, or yeah, we could start a media organization and do these types of things. And yeah, we can play the index game, but ask yourself what durability that has. If you look at the top 10 of, of cryptocurrency year by year by year, correlate that to the crypto media, the indexes and the best entrepreneurs and all the vanity things they've done. You've noticed that the traditional winners there are not around in two or three years because there's absolutely no connection between those vanity metrics and survivability and durability of the project as whole. So th this is a real community-wide conversation of what is effective good branding and marketing, who are the people that we have to convince and win, and what type of customers do we want in the ecosystem as a whole. I have opinions about it, but I'm just a guy. you know. And Cardano is a big tent, and there's a lot of various people. I would caution people against, though, trying to turn Cardano into a meme coin in that the only exercise is make the number go up. 
Right. There's two ways you can make the number go up. In, in one way is you can inflate it temporarily and then everybody dumps and it's a Ponzi scheme. The other way is just through organic growth inside the system. More transactions, more TVL, more use cases, more capabilities, more customers, more reliance, uh, bigger tent. If you do that, it stays. And uh, that's that's the game that I think we as an ecosystem should play. Again, it's not my decision. It's the community's decision as a whole, but I, I won't participate in the first. So if they want to go in that direction, uh, I won't be here. You know, they wish them best of luck. In my view, it's Dogecoin or, you know, some other system like that, which is it, great, you know, but everybody in that system is clearly just there to dump. You know, they just want the number to go up and then they'll have their exit and who's the useful idiot who buys it. Good luck to them.